Uh, here's another sculpture from that series that I call Change. Uh, again, this is carved plaster, and the surface has been treated with paint and with wax. Again, multiple layers, so applying the paint, wiping it off, applying the wax, wiping it off, and just working that surface until I, I get a look that I feel happy with. Uh, I really like, the again, this dark kind of wood-looking finish. Uh, I'll admit this is probably one of the strangest sculptures that I have ever created. Uh, most of the time with sculpture, you want to have uh, a focal point or even multiple focal points that uh, really have that that love and that attention and that detail that will draw the eye of whoever's viewing it. This, this one was totally different. I, I've never really approached a sculpture quite this way. In fact, I was kind of struggling with the idea of how do I share this with people because even turning it the way I am doesn't really give you that idea of what this sculpture is really like. And so I'm going to try and uh, show you by by just turning it in in multiple ways. You can almost set it any way you want on any surface and it will change into something completely different. You just get these different shapes and, and, and forms that sort of come out and, and uh, I really really like this and this was you know, when I think about, like, well, what was the in inspiration for this? Uh, it actually came from an idea for my son. Uh, he talked about this idea of making a sculpture of a star. And uh, I I made this star out of clay. And then I, I kind of made it squiggly, almost like a, a jumble of, of tentacles, if you will. And um, I asked my son, I said, well, how many points do you want this star to have? And he he told me 10. I was like, 10? Oh my goodness, that's a that's a complicated star. And so here I had this sort of squiggly clay 10-pointed star. And, and then I kind of squished it. <laughs> Not completely, but kind of folded it in on itself. And I thought, wow, that's a really interesting form. And I had this, this sort of odd-shaped piece of plaster. And I thought, I wonder if I could turn that piece of plaster into this this goofy ten-pointed star and so I started working on this and and believe me it, it looked it looked really odd at some points um, at one point it kind of looked like a brain and I had to just kind of keep working it and and working it until the form and the shape started to take on the right dynamic and the right movement and having uh, that depth and sort of variety of form and I I questioned myself even up to the very end did I have enough variety to, was there enough movement in the sculpture itself and and I finally decided it was time to let go it was time to stop working on the form that, that it was good enough and then that's when I started working on the surface and it was amazing because it was really in the process of working on the surface that the real dynamic and variation in shadow and light started to play off of this this surface and and the real energy of the sculpture was revealed in working the surface of it and i think that that's kind of it, at the essence of artwork is that it's a at least for me it's an exploration and so this sculpture in a way represents a journey for me and so that's what I'm trying to share with you is this this journey of coming to this form and and revealing it and and making it real thanks for letting me share